A fake funeral for Breaking Bad's main character was a big hit for a lot of Walter White fans, but not for people who have done some real mourning at that cemetery. Now the plan to keep the headstone there for good has been scrapped. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live near the Big Eye at that cemetery with the story. Alex? Dean, the Walter White gravesite will no longer be here, but it's not just grieving family members who are criticizing the fake funeral. On Saturday, a fake character got some real attention. Hundreds came out to Sunset Memorial Park to pay their last respects to Walter White, Breaking Bad's main character. Event organizer Giacomo Bazell says the point was to have some fun and do some good, raising money for Albuquerque health care for the homeless. We're trying to raise money. That's all this is about, raising money. We're not disrespecting anybody at this cemetery. God bless them. But some families with loved ones there felt disrespected. Our cameras spotted plenty of posing in the cemetery. Manuel Montano, whose six-year-old is buried here, says he spotted people standing on real grave sites at the fake funeral. One of the pictures, the grave that they were standing on was a three-year-old child. So Montano started an online petition demanding the Walter White headstone and grave site, which were supposed to be there permanently, be removed. We don't want people taking pictures of a grave site and having a good time. It's, it's, a, it's a place for sorrow. Now funeral organizers are apologizing, saying the headstone will stay at Vernon Steakhouse in the North Valley. But Bazell got some extra criticism this morning when he made a brief appearance on the Howard Stern Show to talk about how much the event raised for charity. We don't have the full ties, but almost $17,000. 17, I don't believe I'll know for sure. I don't believe any. I'm, I'm hanging up. I don't believe any bit of that story. <laughs> people pay to pay go to, to the go funeral? To the funeral? $17,000? I mean, he's lying. He's lying. Sorry, Giacomo. Montano says he and the other families uh, have received and accepted an apology from the event's organizers. Now, I spoke with the cemetery's GM earlier today. He told me that he is sorry to anyone who was offended for holding the funeral here and for allowing the headstone to remain in place here. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you very much. We tried reaching out to Bazell for comment and information on where in Vernon's that headstone will end up. He did not return our calls. Well, New Mexico State.